Hey y'all, so I'm back, backity back, back, back with another YouTube video, except I took a class and it's by Beauty by Courtney. So I'm going to walk y'all through step by step how the process went and you know what the results look like. So first I'm starting off by uh, shaping my brows with this brow pencil from Nika K. Um, it's from Beauty Supply and it's in a brown color. And then every time I look to the side, I'm looking at my iPad because I have the video playing on my iPad. So I'm going to just talk and it's time to talk and then let y'all just see. So something I learned in the video is that when doing the brows, she likes to go outward instead of down. So that's kind of what I was trying to do with the ending of the brow is to go out if that makes sense. Like don't arch it down, kind of go out so that it makes the eyes look more of a um, arched. Now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade light 2.8 or maroon glossy i don't know if i'm saying it right but it's maroon glossy and i'm just putting a little bit under the arch only not covering the full um eye lid space just highlight that um arch and just blend it out once you're done and I'm using the Beats by Deb concealer brush to put the concealer under my eyes like a small concealer brush, a flat brush. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 and I'm going to use that to carve the top of my brow. And I'm blending it with a small Morphe brush that I got from a set. You just blend it out, make sure the brow looks the way that you want it to be. Now to prime my face, I'm using Fenty Beauty's Soft Matte, the Instant Retouch Primer. And for the brush, I'm using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it out. It's number 200. Feels like a night day 
Now to set my brows, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and the brush of uh, it's Real Techniques 402 setting brush. For foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in shade 390 and a 410. 390 is my winter shade and 410 is my summer shade and I picked up the wrong one. So yeah, I'm gonna realize it in a minute and blend them out, but it still ends up looking flawless. Okay, wiggy wig. Look at that sleigh, y'all. But um, one tip, make sure when you're blending out your foundation that you get every crease, every section. You want to look flawless. We're trying to get a full glam beat, y'all. So make sure you're getting into every little like nook and cranny. But you see how it's blending out? It looks really, really good. Um, make sure you blend all the way up to your edges, even the fake ones. <laughs> You want to make sure everything looks so good. So, yeah, that's my tip. So I'm going right back in with that NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2.8 um, Maroon Glossy. I know it looks really, really light for um, a highlight. It does, but when I blend it out, it's going to look so seamless. I'm also going to use that beauty blender that already has previous foundation on it, so it's going to blend and look really, really good. Just wait for it. Trust the process. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Y'all playing right now. Just, just trust the process I'm trying to tell you. Look at me trying to hide the little edge. Look closing. Little weak weak. But y'all, this face is going to be. Just keep watching. Keep, keep looking. Now for contour, I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 7. It's a, a dark contour color. I'm taking the, um, what kind of brush is that? Just a like angled brush and just going to go ahead and contour my nose. And you want to start from the front of the brow all the way down to the bridge of the nose and then the tip of the nose and take it all the way around back up the other way. See, this when I started getting confident, I was like, ooh, we is coming together, like, y'all. 
y'all. This class was so worth it. I think y'all should go ahead and go to her Instagram at Beauty by Courtney XO. It's a makeup artist and she does some beautiful makeup. I love it. Um, I bought the class. It was a brown glam class. It was $35. They're originally like $50. I think I caught it on sale for like $100. But yeah, just definitely go ahead. Give it a try. Perfect your craft perfect your craft there's always room for improvement but um i'm taking the beauty blending just blending everything out making sure it's seamless and it doesn't look like i don't want people to look at my makeup and be like oh i can tell what she did i want it to look like wow that's a beautiful blended face that's a beauty glam so just make sure everything's blended and nothing is just out of place I'm only showing this part of the video to show that I am still taking the class. This is not my technique. This is me learning a new technique and then showing y'all the process. Um, I'm going to take the beauty blender, just make sure everything is still blended and taking that Laura Mercier translucent powder and like a flat, small brush, enough to like cover the bridge of your nose. Just, you're gonna put it in the middle, put the powder in the middle on the side of the nose and then the same translucent powder in your beauty blender you want to tap into the powder and then tap it on your palm of your hand and just put it under your eyes so you don't put too much powder but you're going to see the process just just hold on <laughs> Now taking the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Light Sand. Y'all better say bless me. <laughs> I'm taking two dots. One under one eye, one under the other. And taking the Beauty Blender and just blending that out. And then after that, I believe that's when I go in with the powder. But well, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, going in with the Laura Mercier powder, just gonna tap it underneath. Do y'all see that bright under eye? That looks so good. I look awake, it looks really good, but yeah. Yeah. 
going in with the Juvia's Place, the Warriors 2 palette in that lighter brown shade that they just called Yodi. We're gonna bronze the face. So around the cheek area, over the forehead. After so much blending, I used a little bit, like a little bit of the um, darker shade and then the um, pink and orange shades also, so it could be like my blush uh, shade. Now I'm following the video just dusting away some powder underneath the eye and then I brought the nose contour back because I messed up. Taking that same Laura Mercier translucent powder and the beauty blender, I'm just carving out the cheekbones. I'm taking it from the um, center of my ear all the way down to the corner of my mouth. This is the MAC Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish. It's like a highlighter. And then I'm taking the Morphe M501 brush and I'm just going to put that on my chin my forehead and my cheekbones. This is the Beats by Deb uh, loose highlighter. I wanted more of like a glam glow. I think it's the cut, uh, the shade like Miami Nights or something like that. But it's like the gold, gold and like um, silver mixed inside of it. It looks really, really pretty. So on my eyes, as the eyelid primer, I'm taking the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Light Sand. And I'm just going to prime and prep my eyes and get ready to do the brown glam eyeshadow. That is the Real Techniques Blending Brush. I forgot the number, like 100 or something like that, but it's just a regular flat br blending brush.
I'm going into the Juvia's Place, the Nudes palette, both of those two like nudie type shade of colors. <laughs> I'm going to blend them together and put them on my eyelid to create the nude glam that's required for this uh, brown glam look. The brush is the Morphe M506 brush. And to blend in a brown shade, I'm gonna take the Morphe M456 brush, and that is the shade Yoded from the um, Juvia's Place, the Warriors 2 palette. So I'm taking it up at the corner of my eye near the end of my eyebrow and then I'm going around in the crease of my eye towards the bridge of my nose. So I'm patting and then doing the windshield wiper motion. To deepen the crease, I'm going to take both of those brown shades from the Warriors 2 palette and I'm going to blend them together and then I'm going to buff it out. I'm taking the MAC Medium Deep Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette in the shade um, NW40, I believe. It's the um, one, two, three, four. The fourth color when you start counting from the left <laughs> or like the second, the right hand side, the second column, the second block. It's like a dark brown concealer. Then to set that wet concealer, I use a dark brown eyeshadow um, on top of it so it can be like a brown liner because I didn't have any. After that, I'm taking that Nika K eyebrow pencil and trying my best to make it look like brown liner because I don't have any brown liner. So using the Juvia's Place, uh, the Warriors 2 palette, that white shade, I realized that it would take me a minute to keep building that white up. So I took the um, shade Ghost from J. LaRue Cosmetics. It's a white pig eyeshadow pigment and it's like, it's really pigmented. And it got me that white look that I wanted for less of the time. Like I didn't have to keep building it up. So yeah.
So now I'm taking duo lash glue and I'm just lining on top of my lid where the lashes will be. And I will also put some of that duo lash glue on my actual eyelashes. To line my lips, I'm using the Beats by Deb lip liner. I think the shade is like brown or probably a chocolate. It's just a brown pencil. Look at your girl. Yes, ma'am. So um, for those lashes, I have no clue. I'm sorry. My roommate just did my makeup one day and she just let me have the lashes. So I don't know what they are, but just grab some lashes that you like. Go ahead and put them on and i'm so sorry my camera cut off for that lip combo but basically i took the brown beats by deb liner and then i went under that liner with mac cork liner and then i took um some white concealer from urban decay but i didn't have any that's what she had in the video but i took that um just some white concealer regular white concealer and i put it in the middle and then blended that out and went ahead and put the unveil by Fenty around the corners and then top that off with what I'm using now, which is Fenty's glass slipper, I believe, or just the clear lip gloss. And that's, it's a lot of steps, but that's how you get that beautiful ombre nude lip. Um, there's other ways to achieve this lip or you can just keep it you know short and simple i also um recorded the lip combo on my tiktok the diamond alexis if you want to you know know how to achieve it but this is me going back in with more of that unveil and it just made it a little bit darker i'm using mario badesco or badescu um lavender spray to set my face and going back in with some mac blush and for that nose highlight that is jay larue cosmetics white diamond pigment and this is the look i achieved what do you think it looks really really good let me know what you think in the comments thank you for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe comment and click that bell so you'll be notified mwah, mwah, mwah. kisses bye